how do we see the future of business in Africa evolving um, based on our track record of three decades? I think, you know, for the past three decades, we've been actively involved in the mining environment um, in a number of different capacities, primarily designing plants and supplying parts uh, and plants and services all the way up into Central Africa, into the Congo. Uh, certainly, we've seen an evolution of uh, foreign interest in mining in these regions and now more so actually a little bit more local influence from community development programs. Um, so we're seeing a lot more new and junior miners, emerging miners coming into the market um, with access to capital who want to set up not only mining operations but construction operations as well. Uh, where we're also actively involved and we certainly see ourselves as playing a bigger role in terms of educating these new and emerging mining um, contractors and also mines themselves directly in terms of upskilling the community economic empowerment programs and helping them to kind of become a little bit more um, knowledgeable in the practice and uh, set up sustainable operations that can go forward for the next 50 years for them. Our modular plant distinguishes itself really from competitors and um, uh, other offerings in the market in, in the fact that it's been tried and tested over the course of the past 30 years. Uh, in essence, the real benefit of it, I think, is to alleviate uh, the time frame that it traditionally would take somebody to plan um, a processing plant. Um, we take away all of the design work that's required, all of the planning that usually would typically have gone on for six to 12 months uh, with exorbitant engineering and design fees by supplying you with pre-designed modules that can kind of be configured uh, almost like a Meccano set. So it's, it's relatively easy and it takes away from the headache of having to go through the planning phase um, and some of the risk in that, in that sense as well, which is why we think it's been so successful. Um, it's really easy to add on to an existing plant or to set up a brand new plant with this idea. Um, it's very simple, it alleviates the risk and the speed uh, that we can turn it around is also unmatched in the, in the industry. Um, I think also the partnership that we have with Metso means that we we kind of supplying a product to market that's a very premium offering that has a, a solid reputation uh, that's been built up over a hundred years of manufacturing. So we, we think it's a very compelling package, we think it alleviates a lot of risk and it really helps uh, contractors and mines to get up and running as fast as humanly possible. So what I think sets us apart from that of our competitors is really the reputation that we've built. Um, being in partnership with Metso, which is a global leader in this uh, industry, really means that when you buy a piece of equipment from us, you know that it's not only backed up by a company that's been around in South Africa for 30 years, uh, building equipment and pioneering the modular range of equipment, but also supplying uh, import e equipment from uh, METSO, which is known uh, globally as the world leader in the space. So there's, there's no um, proving ourselves in the field, there's no need for us to um, take some equipment into the field under the pretense that it might or might not work. It's been tried and tested and proven over the course of the last hundred years. Ensuring our support to our customers over the African region is not an easy task, I can tell you that much. Our head office is based out of Johannesburg and we tend to dispatch all of our parts, all of our support technicians out of one location, which is not always the most convenient. But what it does allow us to do is build up a knowledge base and a, 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 almost a culture of service and a, an excellence in our workmanship. Um, by developing talent from within our business. And that's probably the biggest challenge that we've got. It's not access to science, it's not the geographic territories, it's retention and development of talent of um, our service and support teams that are knowledgeable, um, that know the machines intimately, that know the parts environment intimately, and most importantly, they can kind of deliver on a quality service when they get out to site.